Hey everybody, welcome back to Postal 4. Okay, now we are still in the sewers. We are still on a very, very shitty detail. And I see explosives. Too used to hitting numbers to switch weapons. Here, catch. Here, catch. Go on. Okay, oh, those are all done. That looks satisfying. Go on. Must have had to go on. Okay, well, that. Come on! Time is money! Better than a laxative. Oh, there we go. Last one should be. Go on. Nope, not comfortable. Not at all. Work our way back down and out that little way there. Last little mini task, and then we are out of this literal shithole. We're trying not to fall down because I don't want to waste any health. And here comes a fucking rat. I've forgotten I have shotgun shells, so, you know, picked up a shotgun laying around town. Alright, that's done. This should be the way to the light bulbs. The lighting's on the fridge in this wing, so replace those old bulbs. I don't know how many of you lunk kids is going to take the screw some light bulbs, but you're the third guy going in today. You having fun down here? Why not finish? Hallelujah. Okay, and of course, this is sort of like a puzzle. You've got a... Well, got a little bit of ammunition, some armor. That's nice. Got to figure out how to get through the various areas. Of course, this here. Oh, ah, shit. Okay, whoops, so well, box needs to be You having fun down here? Why not finish the job? And... Yeah, this guy needs to shut up. Very much so. I definitely need more of that. Well, there's a box right there, so... You like shooting her. Okay, was there a light anywhere around here? Can you... Oh, well, yes, there is. Can you, I was gonna say, can you be more worthless? Because, you know, just sort of standing there like a fucking idiot. You have fun out here. I guess it only takes one of me to screw in a light bulb. Great, now I get to fight with the cat again. She's getting an early fucking start. Gah! 
Yeah, well, it didn't work out quite the way I wanted it to. Fuck! Wait, damn it! That really does liven up the place. It does seem like a waste of a shotgun shell, but whatever. Not finish off the tube. Yeah, I remember this part pretty good. Much like some parts of Postal 2, you have to make a little bit of a side trip to, um, Go across pipes and do things like that. Okay, that just leads to the next area, so I'm not going that way. Nice to have hit a checkpoint. You having fun down here? Why not finish the job and change the broken bolt? I'm gonna murder that guy. Just gonna murder the absolute shit out of him. And let there be light. Alright. Wish I knew how many more fucking bulbs there were. That would be kind of good information to have, but unfortunately you don't. Well, no, there's four. Never mind. Four more left to go. Okay, so I need a buy you fuck you rat. Need a box. And there's a box right there. Son of a bitch. I guess it only takes one of me to screw in a light bulb. Mm, well, whatever. Who cares? You having fun down here? Oh my god, dude. The job and the Bro, you had just best shut the fuck up. Okay, that's gotta be more loot. More casualties. Of course. Oh, there's more loot. Definitely want that. Where's my poop bucket? Could you spare a small loan of a million? Yeah, y'all yeah. Yeah, can go fuck yourselves. I'm. Yeah. Okay, uh great stacking, yay. Brings you back to Thief Two. Hallelujah. Okay, shotgun shells. All right, that makes me happy. See it. Oh. It's big shit. Good enough. Ow. Oh, okay, there's one right there. All right. And let there be light. Okay, so was that it? Tell me up. Apparently not. I got one left. I missed one somehow. Fuck a duck.
Oof. Ow. Really? And let there be light. Good job, pal. Got her all done. My second break's coming up, so I'll lock the Oh, I hope that was just a vestigial organ. I'll send the wages to your job recruiter. Hope you get a good cut. That about hmm. wraps it up. Oh, there is a fucking map to this. Well, whatever. Who cares? I knew where this asshole was. So I'm gonna put a bullet in his face. I ain't donating to shit. I'm getting the hell out of this fucking dump. This should be the way out. Yeah, I didn't expect that. We're about to lay a log with your name on it, Sewer Hobos. Yeah, it's basically like Twitter. Uh, now you know who your enemies are for whatever fucking reasons. Maybe I shot everybody's pet rat. I don't know. Let's go. Loading out. Cat bit me. She's sitting on my lap. It's a chilly morning, so she's like just chilling. But she is a cat. Mm. Very little engine of chaos and destruction. Okay, so are we gonna actually ever load the fucking level? Or there we go. Something's happening finally. <clears throat> this was considered a shipping build. Well, I guess I can't really say too much because, really, this is pretty much a shipping build in modern parlance because, you know, so many games these days are just absolute fucking garbage. Where's my fucking mini-map? And it looks like my ride has exited stage left. Okay, the jank can definitely go the fuck away. I'm going to have to get out of this damn area because I think that's what's causing it. No way up there. Alright, we're out of here. Guess I get to rent another scooter. Step aside. Or now I'm actually. Oh, I get. I have to do the prison guard thing. Okay, so we're not quite done yet. Okay. So I definitely need another scooter to get there. Assuming the fucking jank stops enough to where I can actually play this fucking game. Oh, I see somebody in a scooter. Oh, never mind. Middle of the fucking road. I don't know what the hell that was, but whatever. I think part of my scooter snapped off.
How's it going? Okay. Yeah, once I'm away from that area, it's fine. There's no more uh. jank or nothing. I do, however, have a cat attacking my hand, so that makes control difficult. Sadly, the game does not reward you with any bonuses or feline initiated malice and difficulty. Well, if we're all going to stand in the middle of the fucking road, then I'm just going to plow through you. I got a little bit of a one level, but that's okay. I'm going to the right place. Crosswalk right there, bitch. Use it. <clears throat> okay, this has got to be a loading zone right here. Used to be if you ran off the road, this thing would completely fucking roll over. I mean, it was absolutely devastating. Just how bad it was. I mean... Quit blocking my bullets. Well, you can just hang on to them bullets. I think I might have to use some of my normal health to, uh... Till Tuesday due to pigeon virus outbreak. Okay, well, hey, whatever works. Ah, no, this area. Fuck. This area's a little hostile to scooters. It seems to be a uh, bit of an issue with the, uh, the way the physics is mapped in this area. At least that just that particular turn. This thing won't be outside when I come out, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess I'm out of minor health items, so I may have to use that. On the horse, there's a scooter to rent, so not a big deal. Yeah, well, I'm going to save anyway. I don't trust all any of that shit. And a new cinema. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, chase him down, boys. Shit, cat. Chase him! Oh, yeah, baby. Put to the head. Stop harder. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Warden. How are things in the old pokey? Ah, damn it! You better watch your stinking up on punk, or else I'll lock you up with the rest of this monkey spunk. State your business. I was told you're looking to hire a new reformatory chaperone. So, another wannabe flatfoot who thinks he can last a day in my prison. Only the most qualified and physically capable are worthy of gracing these fine halls. Now look, do you see that eye chart over there? Yeah. Good, you're hired. Now head into the next room, rookie, and I'll instruct you on the proper use of your equipment. It is in this domain I will train you to become a hardened and proficient corrections officer. In front of you is the training dummy you'll be using to familiarize yourself with your tools. Unfortunately, ah, they won't let us use real anymore. Now check the open locker for your first piece of equipment, rookie. Open locker. Yeah, 
I don't see any open locker. Can I leave already? Do I have to go in there? What's going on? There's a <coughs> code pad, so there's something I gotta do. This fucking thing glitch out. Okay, hold on a minute. Not right click switch modes. Yeah, that's right click, it switches. Okay, that would be nice if the switching modes worked. I do not like it any more than you do, rookie. But you need to switch the batons mode to hit the dummy with the safety pack. Okay, how the fuck do you actually switch the goddamn mode? I, I don't do remember like this horse shit at all. Do, Oh, wait, here we go. A and D. This form of pacification is not lethal to your target. Just forget I ever even told you about it. This is the power of off. As you can see, this form of pacification is non lethal. The longer you shock your target, the more effective the incapacitation. Now, Enough of this pacifist crap. Check the next locker for your next piece of equipment. Feel free to fire a few rounds of that dummy if you must. An exit code for this room is one, one, and Oh, yeah, for me, the best way to work this bullshit is, uh, reach over here, pick up the old Xbox controller. Okay, block A. a sec. This damn sheet is upside down. The right code is... <coughs> ah, shit! You just activated the emergency prison release! What's up, man? Listen up, rookie. You're the last guard standing in there. I got a backup team on standby, but there's no way they're getting in with the place in full lockdown mode. 
You'll have to go to security stations in each of the cell blocks and manually input the override code. Each station has its own code. There should be one marked in that hub room you're in. Commit that to memory and head to the cell block first. Okay, well, cell block B. I'm not seeing the fucking code written down anywhere. Oh, here we are. 445, all right. All right, so we got gas. Some more pills. Which direction is this? That's A and C, so this has to be B. Yeah, there we are. Guess we'll go through here. Yeah, I guess the brain physics are a little bit off. Nice little brain hanging there in midair. Give me your shit, punk. Okay, wait. Not missing an armor yet. Okay. There's three armories. Um. I keep Sorry, an eye on my health, I don't too. Play well with others. Yeah, the brain physics are just still not quite there. There's a big patch out, but like I've said before, I don't want to patch this yet until after I've actually completed this. Or attempt to complete this, because a lot of times when you patch, it tends to blow up your save games. At least until they actually finish getting things done properly. Now, who the fuck is gonna charge after a guard that just shot a prisoner in the fucking face? I mean, like, seriously. Blew his brains out so hard they're floating there in midair, disturbingly. Fight or remove utensils from cafeteria. Okay, that's fine. Oh, safety. Ugh, health pipe. Hey, line up, guys. It's no problem. It's a good day to die. Line right on up, fellas. There's plenty to go around. Prison outfit. That's what you want. Yeah, that should plug a few holes. Yeah. Just sharing some extra ammo. <clears throat> okay, one three seven. All right, we got a revolver. Those are badass. Kimbo power, that's even more badass. Full armor. A little more shotgun. Alright. <clears throat> Let's get back out here and control some more riots. Oh, hey! Oh, nope. Mad Monkey Revenge. They put him in diapers. He'll put them in the grave. Yeah. Okay, so who the hell? There you are. Funny, that's what my therapist said. Cell so block A, code 340. Okay. Uh. Fuck, I'm having drawing a blank. What the fuck was the code? Uh. Fuck.
Yeah, I can't open the door and go look, so. Is it like 452 or something? Fuck, I don't know. <coughs> Brain fart! Nope, that wasn't it. Shit. Okay, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm looking it up, like, really fucking quick. Fucking duck, man. I'm. I don't know. I might have hit a bug. That's not great. <clears throat> okay, I will be right back. Okay, let's hope this is right and this isn't bugged. Fucking hell. Nope. Okay, um... I am getting irritated. <clears throat> it shouldn't be it, but... Nope, that's not accepting any of it. Alright, I got no choice. I just got a whole ass back. Sorry about this. Not usually this fucking inept, but just today... It is just another day. At least it won't take long to run back. Nothing in my way at this point. Okay. 445. Just climb down the goddamn ladder, please. Thank you. This will probably be a really good game once they get the, uh, all the shitty little glitches worked out. I mean, it's not bad now. Just, there's little things like that, and... I guess it recorded. Yes, it did. Fucking, ah. Uh. I'm an idiot every day of the fucking week. Oh, well, at least it doesn't force you to go back too far. To 340, that's cell block A, right? I think. Yeah, cell block A, 340. Alright. Okay, who's. Oh. 
Okay, so we go through here. So block A340. Anything cool in any place around here? Just a pistol. I don't need more of. No crotchy dolls. I don't think they would do that to you. I don't. I'm pretty sure there's no crotchy dolls or nothing stuck here. Okay, that's that is where 420 goes. <coughs> Wait a minute. Um. Are you fucking serious? Fine, I'll... Oh, this is pissing me off. Okay, whatever, I don't give a fuck. Just sharing some extra ammo. No such thing as extra ammo. Have a nice day. <laughs> okay, well, he's mysteriously invulnerable. Okay, did this crash? Hello? Okay, yeah, we're back crash. after that really shitty crash. Just my way of saying hi. Okay. Maybe this one will actually let me in. Nope. Okay. Okay, one more thing to try, and then it's curtains. Nope, well, fuck it, whatever. Don't need it anyway. Got an M16. Hey, fuck face. Bunch of corpses laying around in the morgue. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Not for long. Got the lethal injection table going on here. <laughs> they were apparently not very happy with this fellow. Got old Sparky ready to go. <laughs> Get hit with old Sparky by yourself. It's a good day to die. Okay. What we've got here is a failure to communicate. <clears throat> That's a line from the old movie Cool Hand Luke. For those of you who don't know. Control room's over there, if I remember right. Well, I don't have to remember. I've got the fucking codes in the phone. <clears throat> the OG version of this didn't have the uh, codes being saved on your yeah. phone. That All right, hopefully this will be the last time for a while. I'm going to have to use the damn controller. Should plug a few holes. Piece of cake. 
crash a party and don't worry i remember to tell them you were in here too rookie yeah i'll bet now how about the pay for my exemplary efforts don't worry about that either rookie your recruiter got in touch and i made sure to transfer all your day's wages to him oh great trust me you did a service worthy of every cent unfortunately your decisive handling of the disorderly conduct around here has ensured such further efforts will not be required anytime soon in the foreseeable future but cheer up, rookie. Play your cards right, and one day you can find yourself a permanent residence in here. I think I'm going to pillage places on the way to the um, end the day point. Since you no longer have a trailer, your day endings will change. I don't want to have to spend money on this, but I don't really have a choice. 116, so... Hmm, I wonder what that could be. Oh, a vacancy has just opened. And by the looks of it, it's the only room available in town. Well, I'm no closer to finding my car, so I may as well check in for the day. Once I'm all done and ready, I'll just go check in here. Yeah, no, don't go off the edge. There's the police station, so if you get arrested, you'll be put in a holding cell down here. You can figure out what to do from there. Yeah, well, okay, I guess I'm going the right way now. Ah, cop. Ah. Oh, it's also possible to slide these things. Jank. Jank, get out of the way. I'm driving a janky-ass scooter. I think I'm going to be cutting out some of the travel time for some of these things, though, because, frankly, this will get a little bit tedious, I think. Yeah, I can't really recommend this game for people that don't have a whole lot of patience for getting shit to run. I mean, it wasn't really hard to get running, it's just a bitch to get it to stay stable. What's funny is me running your ass over. Right down the middle of the road. And some for you too. 
I'm dragging his body. Loading zone. Time to wait. We should be just about there by now. Hi, right, Ossifers. The ever loving fucker. Okay, I guess she's. Yeah, it's easier to wash your car if you, you know, actually pick up the rag and do it instead of looking like you're trying to take a shit right in front of your vehicle. Just saying. Hold up. Hi. I'm just going to run through your house real quick and steal anything that's worth stealing and, you know, violate your privacy and the sanctity of your home and all that good shit. You know, just the usual things for a postal guy. Nice little shotgun laying right there. Got a bidet and whatnot laying around. Another in joke, I guess. Uh, I think it's a one story house, isn't it? Someone gets on my scooter, I'm blowing your ass away, dude. For sale by owner. Well, what the fuck are you doing in here? we go. Not much of a house, and not much loot to be had. I remember a couple of these houses having some fairly decent stuff. A little bit of hell. really works. Coming through? Bro, get out of my fucking way. Hey. Get on the way. These guys don't react as quite as freaked out as the uh, ones do from Postal 2. Maybe that, that's just not completed yet. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That's the spot. Sweet. Yeah, as soon as I find out where I can pawn the little bastard, then that's where he's going. Alright, one more shithole house to do, and I think we're going to call that and just head on in and turn this day in. Alright, nothing in the bathroom worthwhile. Not sure what the hell this is about. Okay, so kicking the tiki god does nothing. Tiki god, Aztec god, whatever the fuck that was. Yeah, I'm pretty sure homie here's not getting a whole lot of action. Having arcade cabinets in his room. Yeah, that's kind of a sign there. Okay, well, anywho. One side. Walk in, urgent care. Well, we don't need urgent care right now, so we'll skip that. What's this? I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Is it a future mission site? I don't know. Hey, baby, what the fuck are you doing? Okay. Bitches do be crazy in this town. And we're almost to our final little spot for the day.
Peppy's pet stash, huh? Well, yeah, that doesn't seem to be all that useful. Not sure what exactly the point of this place is. Okay, fuck it then. If you don't let me out the front door, I'll just go out the side door. Y'all go fuck yourself. Yeah, I think it, it's time to call it a day. More scooters piling up here. We're bringing this shit down. Whoa, hold up. Who the fuck just shot at me? Yeah, it's time to call this a day. I'm just gonna let it run into the uh, the briefing for the next day, and from there we will uh, go ahead and, like I said, call it. Oh, God damn it! should give you some idea of just what kind of place we are letting ourselves into. Thought I saw something flashing back there. Guess not. I was also looking for any crotchy or Larry dolls or any of that kind of shit. There's the pool. Okay, well he's alive. Just gotta ding this twice and I'll be done for the day. Hey, how about some service here? Ah, our esteemed guest has arrived. Forgive my absence, but your job recruiter has booked you into the deluxe suite, and we were busy preparing your five-star experience. You're surely to be pleased with the spacious accommodations. Do you have any questions? Is there free cable? I assure you, there are plenty of cables. How about a complimentary continental breakfast? Anything edible you can find is free. Oh yeah, do you take pets? Oh, don't worry. We accept vermin of all kinds, including yourself. Now, uh, let me show you to your room. Have a good night's rest, fellas. And, oh, don't let the alley rats bite. Crap. And that is Monday, so next time we will be starting Tuesday. And depending on just how crazy Tuesday is, we may or may not be able to wrap it up in one in one episode. That's what I'm trying to do, but it doesn't seem to be working out that well yet. <clears throat> Beavers and ducks. <sighs> What's this? A ticket for public loitering and vagrancy? Sentence, community service. <laughs> Great, what a way to start the day. Hello? Morning, kiddo. It's the one and only Joseph Below. Personally checking up on my star employee. So, how were the five star accommodations? I think a few of those stars might have collapsed already. You don't happen to know of any better places to stay in this town, would you? I've got a nice home right here on my lap if you need it. <laughs> but, uh, let's discuss business before pleasure, if you know what I mean. Now, due to an unfortunate expediting of the court, I'll be taking an emergency vacation in one of those fine non-extraditionary countries for an extended period. But don't think I'd be leaving a trusted client of Joseph Below jobless. Your unconventional means have caught the attention of a business associate of mine. 
and he's most interested in employing your services. It would be wise <coughs> of you not to refuse him. Okay, let's go. I have a set up an appointment today with my associate, and I suggest you don't dawdle. He doesn't like to be kept waiting. My compadre is residing below the border here. You're gonna have to take a subway ride to get to his side of town. Hey, good luck in your future job hunting, kiddo. Just remember, you service the right superiors, and you'll go far in this town. <laughs> hmm. As long as I'm heading out of town, I may as well take care of this community service sentence. I think I can take care of that here. Well, time to get started. Yep, at the police station. Attention, please. This is the Edenson Emergency Broadcast System. Please stand by for a pre-recorded important announcement. <clears throat> Good morning, fellow citizens. My name is Cornelius Munchenmuff, and as the press secretary for the mayor's office, it is my duty to inform you that we have confirmed at least 50 cases of the deadly Pajona virus here in Edenson. While we cannot yet confirm who is responsible for bringing this devastating virus to our community, our ongoing internal investigation suggests that this outbreak is a direct result of the mishandling of caged pigeons that have somehow been dispersed around our lovely town. Therefore, we are hereby declaring a state of emergency effective immediately. As a society, it is everyone's responsibility to help flatten the curve and reduce the number of painful and certain deaths. As such, we strongly advise adopting the following health guidelines provided by national avian expert Dr. Auchi. Avoid pigeons at all costs. Stay away from crowded spaces. Wash your hands frequently and masturbate with them as little as possible. If you absolutely must diddle your doohickey, consider using a marital aid and be sure to wear a mask. I'm afraid that's all the information we have at this time. Now if you'll excuse me, I am late for a flight to Cancun. Thank you. Yeah, that sounds about right for the whole COVID-19 thing. Which, if you haven't figured it out, that's what they're mocking. Yeah, that's what they're mocking right there. All right, guys, with that, I will catch you guys later.